Hey guys, what's up? Chris Hughes here from whoschrishughes.com and I've got with me the five laws of stratospheric success that you all need to learn and start applying to your business right away. Uh, these are from The Go-Giver as well as Go-Giver Sell More by Bob Berg and John David Mann. Both books I've reviewed on the blog, phenomenal value in both of them. Uh, I'm going to start off with the first law, which is the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. Uh, the way you got to look at this is, with marketing, we need to be providing value to our customers. We need to be providing value to our prospects. Um, if you're not providing value, they're not going to buy from you. There's no reason for them to buy to you, so why would they? Uh, start to provide value, whether it's an ebook, video training like this, uh, an audio course, anything. Provide value up front. And what you want to strive to do is create $100 worth of value that you can just give. Just here, take this. This is $100 of value that's going to help you in your business. Uh, I try to do this all the time with everything that I create because the more, more value I create, the more I get to help people. All right, law number two, the law of compensation. This is a fun one. We all like money. I mean, who doesn't like money? I love money. You love money. Uh, if you don't love money, then you're kind of, you're probably lying to yourself. But your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. So if you're stuck on making money, you're just not helping enough people. Uh, one of the easier ways to kind of make more money is using the internet. You can leverage things that you do. Right now I'm creating a video. This is leveraging my time. Uh, it's going to reach more people than it would if I was just talking one-on-one -on -one with someone, which is the true power in video as well as audio marketing, uh, all forms of media that you're creating, all the value that you're creating, you can leverage. And you can serve more people. So you're one person here, but I'm picturing, I'm projecting this out to thousands upon thousands of people so that it'll help them out. Uh, so if you want to make more money, help more people. If you want to help more people, you'll make more money. Hand in hand, hand in hand. Keep that in mind. Third law, number three, the law of influence. This is fun. Uh, your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interest first. Think about it this way. When you're at networking events, you're meeting people, you know. Oh, hi, my name is Chris Hughes. Oh, yes, my name is Chris Hughes, too. It's nice to meet you. Uh, you're kind of talking with people. You're handing business cards out. You're like, oh, here's my card. And trying to be all slick. And he's like, oh, yes, there's my card. And if, if you don't really place other people's interests first, they're not going to remember you. They're going to... They're not going to care. Uh, like me, I when the first networking event I went to that was uh, for meetup.com, I took juggling balls. I was like, uh, I'm not sure. I just wanted to kind of uh, teach people something, and I knew I can juggle, so I can teach these people. So I taught a bunch of people how to juggle. That was me providing value to them because juggling is relaxing and stuff like that. And... This is kind of this has led to great relationships. I've got a meeting on Monday with one of the people that I met there. I've been getting some referrals from people. I th thank you guys. I I really appreciate that you're helping me out get my business going. But uh, I'm putting other people's interests first. I'm trying to give them value, trying to help them before I try to like. I don't know. It's just don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Uh, it's hard. I'm, I'm a college student. I don't have a ton of money. The money I have, I've been trying to give back. I've been trying to, I've been giving people books that I've bought and kind of hoping that this is going to help them out in some way or another, which is one way of doing value. If you can buy someone a book off Amazon for like five bucks, give it to someone. It's like a $30 value. So that's, it's a nice little tip for you. Um, Fourth law, law of authenticity. The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. And this is where video is cool because um, me, if you if you met me somewhere, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know where we'd meet. It could be anywhere. It could be like 
out at a bar drinking. It could be out playing like soccer. I love playing soccer, futsal, basketball, uh, lifting weights, but I usually do that at home. But be authentic. Uh, be true to yourself. If you're if you're a little weird, like I'm, I'm a little weird. No, it's it's fine. Like it's a fun. I do things that are entertaining for me and enjoyable for me, like juggling and ooh, weird things and stuff like this. But this is who I am. I'm being true to myself so that I can share myself with you guys. And by being authentic, you'll notice that people are naturally drawn to you and uh, your energy starts to shine and starts to come out and you have more fun because you're being your authentic self, not portraying yourself as someone else, which is, I used to have like pictures of me in like a suit and stuff and professional, but me, like I wear, it's like a dress shirt, but it's, it's from Hollister, it's nice, it's the bag, it's fancy, stuff like that, but this is who I am, I, I wear nice shirts like these, I wear polo shirts, but I, I typically have flip flops on, not sure if that's all professional and Mean whatever corporate stuff, but that's my authentic self. So that's what I share. Uh, the fifth law, need to remember this: the law of recept receptivity. I have problems saying that, but it's being open to receiving. The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. So uh, the way that the best way to explain this is: think about us breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. If you try to just keep breathing in, try to keep taking, it's not going to work. If you keep trying to breathe out, and just constantly giving, it's not going to work. There's an equal balance. And uh, you need to be open to things that happen. When you're giving uh, the law of rece receptivity, it basically it gives you... Uh, the opportunities start receiving things, which is cool. The universe works in crazy ways, and that's how it, it no point in arguing with it, just go with it. But you've got to stay open to receiving. Opportunities are everywhere, they're floating throughout the world, they're all around everywhere, all the time. And you need to be open to accepting them because that's just that's how it works. But follow these five laws and Things will start to happen for you. Like they've started to happen for me. I, I have one whiteboard here, and I write. I used to write all my stuff on there, and now I I keep that on. I keep that up just to remind me to constantly remind me of the five laws of stratospheric success because I want to be super successful. I'm throwing that out there. I want you guys to know that. But follow these laws. If this video has helped you out in any way, please, please share it with people. Uh, I'd love to, if I could get like a thousand views on this, I would be ecstatic. I'd be giving you guys high fives like, yes, yes, yes. I'd, I'd run to your house right now and give you a high five for that. But, well, it depends on where you live. But thank you guys for watching this. It's a little long, but it's full of value. Please share it. Please share it. Uh, retweet it, do everything you can, and visit my blog for more great information like this. It's whoschrishughes.com, and it's going to be...